Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have got news to cover today. Conflicting reports of a promo coming or maybe lack thereof. That's what I want to discuss in today's video as, yes, we're looking ahead towards Friday, but also what is going on in the here and now with Fantasy FC, a really incredible menu craft and grind that was made available yesterday or really continued that I want to talk to you guys about and the market a lot of fc fantasy team two cards are looking prime for investments can we buy some of those as they potentially go into games and upgrades later on this week we'll talk about that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new welcome back it is very good to be back after a week off i am very excited to get back on this game and to talk about everything related to this game because especially yesterday i opened a bunch of packs from what i had in the club saved up a couple of 83 times 10s and what i fell across was a pretty insane craft and i want to talk to you guys about that especially with the new SBCs that dropped yesterday but again thanks for bearing with me guys as we were off on vacation if you wondered why there wasn't a video we were on vacation we were on holiday we were away for about a week uh, but now we are back refreshed ready to go and hit some 81 plus player picks that was the biggest w of an SBC that was dropped yesterday basically the same 81 plus player pick that was released a couple of weeks ago is eight golds and one rare very easy to craft with all the different ways to get golds right now first of all the way to get golds to start off every single day is do the daily gold upgrade i actually haven't done it today so i'm behind but this gets you a lot of golds and even a couple of rares very easily just for the silvers and bronzes so make sure you do those i mean i say that every day do those but it really helps out and then you can put those into 81 plus player picks but this is where it gets good guys we're going straight into the menu grind because this is the most exciting thing on the game right now um whether you want to do the 81 plus player pick or the fantasy fc crafting upgrade that's actually up to you but you get gold commons you do those the fodder that you get out of that you can go and craft player spcs but when you come across the duplicate or as a lot of people are doing right now in general whenever they pack something that is like 87 and above they're going and putting that back into an exchange SBC. Every time I pack an 87 or above, especially after now that I finished the icon player pick and got Rivaldo absolutely shafted, I'm going and putting that into one of these because right now there's not a player SBC that I really want to work on. So I'm just filling up my club with commons and rares to put back into player picks and it just creates a never ending cycle of stuff to do in this game because you're just doing player picks on repeat you're constantly having chances to pack the fantasy fc players and heroes that are out right now so that is what i would recommend you guys doing if there's no sbcs that you want to do like i've got an 87 overdorf and donnarumma right here that i'll probably you know what an 87 rated is what i clicked into let's put overdorf into this 87 rated duplicate exchange and then i get what is this 19 players i think i think the 87 dupe exchange is 19 players pack so then boom like that's a couple of player picks at least right there and you get a chance at packing a promo card so like i know it's like nate you just turn in an 87 rated card that's a lot well it's kind of fun to just degen the menus like this and grind uh could that have been puteus probably parejo okay not even close right so <laughs> i'm getting those rares and non-rares that are going back into the club that i will put into more player picks and i'll be able to keep crafting get some more higher rated fodder and then for the 85s and 86s since i'm not putting those into the exchanges i'm putting those into like the upgrade SBCs, right? We had another upgrade SBC release yesterday in the 85, 85 plus player pick, which we love this, right? It's been a decent value every single time. A lot of you guys have been, I guess, needing a place to put your 84s. I haven't seen that need because I've not been on the game much, but I've heard that that is a thing. I mean, 84s were like 1.5K. Um, and this is great. It's an 84 rated squad. Get yourself a chance at some more fantasy FCs in the heroes. So we don't dislike that at all. Basically, the upgrade packs yesterday were a W. And that's kind of the menu grind and the menu craft right now in this game is do the exchanges, hit the 81 plus player picks, or hit the crafting upgrade. And then whatever fodder you get from that that you want to put in different places, you got options. 85 player pick, 84 times 5. I would highly recommend doing these. Yesterday, I got Mascherano and Stanway in the same 84-5. And if you need Team of the Weeks, just craft the 83 plus Team of the Week. It's really an incredible menu grind with those exchanges that are out right now. It just gives back so many gold commons, which then you can put into the crafting or the player pick and just get so much fodder back. And if you're like, Nate, there's nothing to craft. I would beg to differ. I mean, you've got so many live cards right now. Alex Scott, Carvalho, Rolfo, which is taking over the center mid position in this game. So many people are doing this card, especially with that center mid at a position. There are so many live cards that you can craft right now 
that why not like if it's a lab card that has potential to upgrade especially um frick this guy for rick get this card done five star skills technical dribbler he's already progressing towards upgrades very very well um and he could be really insane if he ends up going to like uh, I don't know, like a 90 or a 91. That could be a really insane card. That's one that I would craft, and it's not that hard to do so. So there's really plenty of SBCs and players and in upgrade packs, which we're probably going to get more of today on this game, uh, to be crafting right now in the menus. Now, one player SBC that they did drop yesterday to get through this really fast that doesn't have as much hype, maybe one of the worst player SBCs we've had so far, besides the punt and pick Bowen, uh, but Ander Herrera. I mean, the playstyle pluses are good here. The stats are not the greatest. And the fact that bro is literally injured. Another FC fantasy player that is injured. Thanks, EA, for putting out a card that probably won't see its full upgrade potential because he's hurt. So that does not help at all either, especially he's coming in at a price of 145k. Not the greatest. And we also had UEFA marquee matchups yesterday, which is uh, brought a little bit of supply to the market, which we'll talk about in terms of the fantasy cards here in a second. But uh, that's always some nice tradable um, free packs, if you will. So yesterday's content was solid. They also gave out Foot Champs qualification points to everybody, uh, which is, again, more people probably going to be playing Foot Champs this weekend. So there's that. So there is a lot to do in the menus right now if you want to grind. Of course, the cup is still going on. I'm still working through that. I'm kind of saving all my packs for the end. I got to get that cup done before these cards go out of packs, though, to have a chance of packing one of the live cards. Let me look at the last thing that happened yesterday on this game, and it comes into kind of the scenario of what I want to discuss today. But first, we'll go back and look at this. EA's content tweet for the week. It's got some very interesting things in here. When I saw this tweet right away, things started going off my mind. I was like, uh, campaign re-release? That is not normal. That is different. And we got to talk about that today for sure because that might give us some insight onto what's coming later on this week. That's going to be a part of content coming this week. Campaign re-release, which in my opinion means cards coming back into packs. We've got two player of the months, Premier League and Serie A. I don't think Premier League player of the month has been leaked yet of who has won that award. I would imagine that that's going to be leaked probably Wednesday or Thursday, so watch out for that. Serie A Player of the Month, I don't believe I've seen a leak for that as well. I'm, I'm still catching up on a lot of things. Some of the cards that were in the promo team for Team 2, I didn't even realize because I was away for the game for the, for the past week, so I missed out on some of that stuff, and definitely prices right now I'm trying to learn again. But um, I think those will be SBCs we see on Thursday and Friday, or uh, both on Friday, we'll have to see there. And then we have Upgrade SBCs, normal. New Evos, pretty normal normal as well uh, i would imagine maybe today on tuesday tomorrow on wednesday those are popular evo days and then we also have that icon sbc which i believe was in last week's ea content tweet which never was released so we'll see if they actually release it, release it this week hopefully they do an icon player sbc there and then showdown sbc which is very interesting and these two things combined along with a couple other things that we're going to talk about today have us looking ahead a little bit. So I wanted to cover everything in the menus right now, but I want to look ahead a little bit, guys, because that's kind of where the hype, at least for me, is starting to build a little bit in terms of what is coming next, because we're in March now, right? And every single year in March, we think of a promo that is celebrating EA's, or not really EA's, but Ultimate Team's birthday and the origination and the start of this game mode, Ultimate Team as a part of this game. So... Kind of we're looking at today, what is next? Like, what is the next promo? Because we've kind of got conflicting reports, and that's what I want to discuss. Guys, this is big because it's going to impact the market regardless, whether it means market crash, whether it means certain prices rising on the market as well. Uh, sometimes when there's no content weeks, the market actually drops off a lot. I'm thinking back to the, before the World Cup mode. There was a week of no promos, no content, and the market absolutely got destroyed because everybody was like, oh my goodness, the World Cup mode is going to be coming out. World Cup promos are going to be the next week. Stuff is going to go down. Could that happen with maybe no foot birthday this Friday, but something else other than a promo coming out? Potentially. But foot birthday in its own right could potentially cause some market movements as well just because that's a staple promo every single year at this stage of the year. So let's discuss it. And let's talk about it from a standpoint of, I think we have two scenarios coming for us. It's going to go one or one or two ways this Friday and heading into this weekend on this game. Here is way number one. And we're looking at it from this content tweet. And these content tweets, the way that EA have done it in before, most of these tweets have been content that goes from Monday 
to Monday. It's basically the entire next week or like Monday to Sunday. Some people were telling me that they stop at Fridays, but I remember vividly some multiple times where they would put out either a end of an era SBC that happened on a weekend or an icon player SBC that happened on a Saturday or a Sunday that was included in this tweet. So I'm guessing that that is how this is being released, that some of this content in here is kind of teasing what is upcoming this Friday. This is scenario number one. Scenario number one is we do not get foot birthday this Friday, which it would be pretty early to get foot birthday. I'll discuss that here in a second because FIFA Ultimate Team's birthday or FC Ultimate Team's birthday is technically not until I think it's like the 19th. Uh, or somewhere around there, the 19th of March. So we're still a couple weeks away from that. Scenario number one is we don't get foot birthday this Friday, but we get a campaign re-release and showdown SBCs. That might sound familiar because it happened last year and we know EA are creatures of habit. The showdown series promo, it's basically an off week. It's kind of a week where there's no content. If you've never experienced this before, it usually happens in the spring before foot birthday sometimes it's uh, i think it was two years ago after foot birthday it's around the springtime where ea basically just say we're not going to put any new cards in packs like we do every single week what we are going to do is instead put some old cards back into packs and then instead focus on a lot of sbcs now of course what old cards are, are they going to put back into packs well we can see from that tweet that they put out probably versus fire and ice winter wild cards potentially winter wild cards icons and team of the group stages as well and if they release i mean not probably not all of the winter wild cards but if they release even some of them same thing with the fire and ice cards this would be pretty nice you've got Militao, puteus salat vvd cristiano ronaldo right as some top tier winter wild cards players you've got a neymar fire rice you've got a son you've got tomori you have ramos team of the group stage cards you've got Saka. Uh, you got so many great team of the group stage cards and all of these promos that i remember too these were kind of the promos between black friday and team of the year that the cards were all really rare so a lot of their prices are very inflated they are going to get corrected big time as well because a lot of these cards not all of them, but a lot of these are still one play style plus cards, which puts them just a little bit more behind the curve. So if you own any of these, regardless, we are getting in the next week, we are getting old promo cards re-released in packs. Again, not all the team of the group stages, wild cards or fire versus ice, but a good chunk of them are going to be re-released. And that would mean whoever gets re-released is going to fall in value. So be very, very careful with that for sure. Just kind of a heads up and a bit of a warning. But the fact that the re-release and the showdown SBC is shown here on this tweet really makes me think that that is what is coming this Friday. Now, normally EA don't promo what is coming on a given Friday on one of those content tweets, right? Like they didn't tell us that Fantasy FC or even like Future Stars, last couple of promos um, that were coming, were on, they weren't on that tweet, right? So that's one thing that maybe bets against that. And, and here's probably the biggest thing that bets for it being foot birthday. Let's switch gears. Number two option this Friday is we actually do get foot birthday. This is big. The official foot birthday car design, which I believe has been posted around before a little bit, but now it's 100% confirmed because this is from foot scoreboard and he only tweets stuff out that gets added like to the code of the game on the back end of the web app and stuff like that, I believe. Um, this is a pretty, pretty legitimate leak. This is the official foot birthday car design, which in my opinion... <laughs> I don't like that design very much at all. Like last year's design, it was okay. We've had better ones. We'll say that. Like, I don't know what it is about this like balloon that's inside of the, the shape. It just doesn't, it looks so separated from the rest of the card. I don't know. That's just my opinion. If you like it, then like it. If you don't, then yeah, I guess I just don't. I want to see a player dynamic image on it. How is a player dynamic image going to fit in front of this balloon type thing that already looks like it's so sticking out of the car design? Anyway, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the car design. But let's say, in theory, Foot Birthday drops this Friday. I mean, this car design being added to the code already kind of points towards that being the potential as well. That's why we're stuck between two scenarios right now. It's either Foot Birthday this Friday or it is not. Now, what would the best of a re-release mean? If we're going to get a campaign re-release, how would that work its way into Black Friday? It could be a lot like the Thunderstruck promo. Remember when we had Black Friday and the Thunderstruck cards were in packs at the same time, we had a best of re-release with players like Trailblazer Hansen and some other Trailblazer cards and early on promos in the year in packs. They could do something like that where if they're going all out for Black uh, for Foot Birthday like they did for Black Friday, we could have cards re-released in packs, a best of, and then the new promo cards released 
all at the same time there's potential for that so that's how that could still make sense and it could maybe make sense that foot birthday would be earlier in time frame this year because a lot of stuff has been moved up this year compared to previous years because we have a summer competition multiple summer competitions with copa america and the euros coming this summer which is going to mean a lot of content centralized around that in this game as well to take a look back at fifa 22 and fifa 23 the first week of foot birthday was dropped on march 4th in fifa 22 of foot birthday with the ronaldo the suarez remember these cards this suarez was unbelievable this ronaldo was crazy as well this tony cruz this was a really good foot birthday team but this came out early early march march 4th last year in fifa 23 foot birthday didn't start until the end of march so foot birthday could be any time during the month of march that's what we're learning and that's why there's a lot of questioning and a lot of just we're not quite sure how it's going to look between this promo or lack of a promo with just a re-release and a showdown series, kind of like we had last year, where it was based off of the rivalries. And, and I mean, showdown SBCs are cool. There's a lot of big games that could be released for showdowns, Liverpool and City. Although I think that game might be overlooked because we just had Liverpool with McAllister inside of a showdown. And they don't like to reuse clubs inside of showdowns that much, even though that showdown would be legitimately perfect. We got a bunch of Champions League games this next week, uh, continuing next week as well, a bunch of league games. So showdowns would make sense foot birthday would also make sense that's why we're stuck in between right now if i had to choose what i think it's going to be in my opinion i think it's going to be a no content week that's just my opinion and then next friday not this coming friday but next friday would be the start of a birthday but we're going to find out really soon guys we're going to find out really soon because leaks right maybe a loading screen but mostly leaks we're going to figure out from guys if there is a foot birthday promo they're going to start leaking those players we're going to see what those cards if there's getting going to be icons as well what it's going to be about and if there's not leaks for that then we can probably safely assume assume something else is going to be happening so look out for the leaks we'll keep you guys updated of course with every single piece of news that comes out we will keep you guys updated so that's kind of the rundown on a foot birthday the situations with the car design being added to the code it's not in the game yet i kept checking because it's really early i doubt they would add it in the game but it's in the back end of the code and then of course the ea tweet hinting at some different things so yeah that's the whole situation with what could be coming this friday let's talk about market a little bit because we did have uefa marquee matchups yesterday and i know a lot of you guys are interested especially if it's going to be a promo week where there might not be any new cards and packs that gets a lot of investors especially when you're talking about live cards really interested in investing and last week right around this time which is when i was going away for holiday is when these cards started to go up from team number one of the FC Fantasy Promo, right? Everybody remembers Politano going from 20,000 coins to now 55K. I sold my Politanos yesterday for 53K just to get it out and join the profit selling in the hype because upgrades for these cards are happening on Wednesday. Tomorrow, guys, is when they will be upgraded and there's going to be a whole host of cards that are going to be upgraded. But I think if you want to get in on some of the cards from Team 2, we have to get in here pretty soon because this was kind of the, the last time to buy. On the cheaper cards, I want to refresh this, cheaper cards are the ones that are the best investment in my opinion, especially because even if you're like, Nate, I don't want to do something too risky, a lot of these you can buy, hold on to, and just wait. Because if they get one, two, three upgrades, that just means they're going to be leveling up to a higher rating of fodder quote unquote and their price will automatically jump up to that threshold per se so i want to take a look at some of the investments here as this could be near the low point i've picked up a couple of pedro poros for around twenty-one thousand coins he has been injured all right one thing i would tell you guys to do and make sure of is when you're looking to invest in these players make sure you're using these trackers and do a little bit of research right pedro poro has been injured but for spurs he should be coming back for the game against villa this weekend which is not an easy game for sure but after a great start with a win, um, with three goals scored in that first game this last weekend, which we were all excited for for Timo Werner, right? If they're able to get a clean sheet in the next two games, Pedro Porro comes back from injury, and he was starting before that, so he should slot right in the team or at least be a sub this weekend for sure. Um, he would get an appearance. Spurs hopefully get a win. He would get an upgrade for that. I doubt we get a clean sheet, 
but maybe some more goals and appearance and a win would take him to his first upgrade to go to an 88. I think he's a pretty solid investment of a card. It's all about the ones that are going to give you their best, your best bang for the buck right away are going to be the ones that have a good matchup this weekend. So I think Poro and Spurs, especially if he's healthy and he plays, then there's a really good chance uh, that his card could start rising in price. It's also a prem right back. I know that he's not the most meta prem right back when you look at the stats. Like, he doesn't look that crazy, but he has whip pass plus. He's got good links, and everybody has Teemo. And if you're running Teemo, maybe you need those Spurs links. This card's very, very cheap, so I don't mind that one. I also really like um, Le Melu. This card is, if you remember, he had a what if card back in the day. The what if promo. Shout out to that promo. That was a spring promo that did not hit very good. But yeah, that's one that we remember. Uh, this card is getting upgraded. He scored or assisted. I forget what it was. But he hit that threshold on the weekend. He's going to go to an 88 rated, we believe, on Wednesday. Because again, the new inform system is 86s get upgraded to 88s. At least that's how we've seen it in Team of the Weeks. So this will be the true test. If he goes to an 88 rated card on Wednesday, this card is definitely going to bump up because he would then have the chance to go way high in rating with more potential upgrades. They have a really good match this weekend. So I like his card around 22,000 coins. And then I've picked up a couple of um, the Dortmund left back as well. This one's a lot more risky, a lot more risky for Ian Matson because um, his card is already overpriced. Because like this card genuinely compared it to Poro, right? It's almost the same card. He just has two playstyle pluses. And I mean, he is getting an upgrade on Wednesday. So that's something that he has. It's a little bit different uh, compared to Poro. They already kept a clean sheet, but they have a really good matchup. They're playing Werder Bremen, I think, this uh, weekend. So that's why I like this card, but it is risky. This is the most risky of all the ones that I've talked about so far in the video. And then some other cards that are a lot less risky that you could buy and hold on to. Uh, as long as they get one or two upgrades, you're going to end up making profit would be Kendreva. He'd be a really, really good one. This card actually looks kind of nice. Um, besides the medium, medium work rates, like imagine Kendreva and Torino. I know they play Napoli and that's not a good matchup, obviously, right? That's a really, really tough opponent. But he's got power shot and incisive. Imagine he gets a plus two and goes to 90 rated. First of all, 90 rated on the market are what? 45K? 45,000 coins. He's 27K. This card would also look disgusting if he got a plus two. 90 rated. You have all 90 in pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling stats. And he would probably mid to high 70s with four star, five star. This would be a banging card. So a little bit of a sleeper there, but he's going to have to pull out all the stops and they're going to have to get some wins here. And it, those upgrades probably wouldn't happen for a while. But that card, I think, has potential to get upgraded for fodder. Uh, Marmouche, same thing. Upgrade potential for fodder. fodder. Um, Pas Pasca Real from the women's D1 Arkema. Really good chance of a fodder upgrade here because of her playing almost every single game for her club and really good potential for a clean sheet there as well with good matchups. So I like that card for a fodder investment. And I'm also, this is more long-term, I'm not buying too many of the women's cards because um, they don't have games this weekend. Again, I'm really, really honing in on the cards that have the games this weekend because I want to see those prices rise into the game and the hype of those potential upgrades this weekend. So I'm looking for more of a quick flip in that way than investing super long-term. That's just my personal strategy with this. I do have a couple of cards stocked on my transfer list that are I'm willing to wait. Like I bought a Kendrava for 26K, I'm willing to wait. But I think Midema is one. Like imagine if the, imagine if she's able to get three upgrades, three of the four. She goes to a 93 rated card. That is a 93 rated fodder card at the very least. She would probably be 70 to 80,000 coins as one of the cheapest 93s in the game. And uh, so maybe sometime this week, even later on in the week, I think you would wait to buy some of the women's cards. Martins, Midema, Stanway. Um, I think I would wait on those because they don't play for a little while yet. Uh, but those could be looks a little bit later on. I just think that after we get into today on Tuesday, after weekly rewards are paid out, I think you're going to start to see some of these prices go up. Even Gundawan to me, like I know we have Rolfo that is out right now, but this Gundawan, this is a special version of Gundawan that upgrades for Barcelona. I know they don't have great matchups and like, and all that, and they're not even playing amazing right now. But the fact this card is 240k, I picked one up on bid for 220 because I thought it was too cheap, and I got a little lucky with the bid anyway. But that is that is crazy cheap for finesse plus and anticipate plus. Gundawan's promo cards always are pretty decent. So if he gets one or two upgrades, that could easily go up as well. Again, it's all about the upgrades, and it's all about specifically for the, sh for the short term rise who 
can get a good matchup this weekend and perform well. And don't forget about Team 1. Team 1's cards, uh, a lot of them are still chilling in price too. Actually, Chalhanaglu is down horrendous. Probably the biggest price drop. This is what can happen to some of the cards that are more expensive. They have a lot of room to drop off, so be very careful. I've lost some coins in Chalhanaglu, as I know some of you guys have as well. So be careful with some of those. But... Um, you know, even he could be way too low for still potential upgrades if he comes back from injury and if they are able to get, uh, what is it, some more, three more goals in their last game, I think. Uh, there's upgrade potential there. So last thing I want to talk about is what's coming today. What are we going to be able to craft today using the crafting methods and everything like that? When you're opening packs, what's coming today? Well, one interesting thing is there was nothing on that EA tweet about a fantasy player SBC, but we have a leak for to Debo, um, and he's expected to be released today. This was tweeted yesterday. Another French center back, whoop de doo We need another. Uh, we need another French center back, I guess. Another League One center back. It's probably going to be a decent SBC, to be honest. I don't expect this car to be that crazy cracked, but anywhere between 87 to 88 rated would be very possible. I know we had Bergiorno, the Torino SBC, last week, so we're getting a Todibo Nice SBC this week. Um, according to this leak so watch out for that again according to ea's wordage here they're not expecting to release any sbcs like that we'll see if that happens but watch out for that one another reason maybe to buy Le melu as well decent buy there and um also today we have the 87 plus player pick going away 87 plus wild card versus team of the honorable mentions player pick this is going away tuesdays have been like this same player pick somehow slightly updated maybe they make it a one of four today i bet they're going to refresh something of this type um imagine i don't think this is what it is this campaign re-release i do not believe pertains to that at all because that would be a step backwards anyway because they included team of the honorable mentions and this is not the, like this would fall under the upgrade category upgrade sbc category on that tweet that's not a campaign re-release so i don't think there's a correlation there but who knows, maybe EA are just making mistakes in this time. So I would expect this to somehow refresh today. I don't think fodder is going to move that much unless there's like a specific fodder requirement and it's an SBC that is repeatable like two, three times per day. You know what I mean? Maybe 84s could go up a little bit. You might be able to lazy sell those because of the 85 plus player pick. But I'm not expecting too much fodder movement unless there's a big surprise of an SBC to be dropped today. And then, of course... I mean, I know we're talking about Fantasy FC with the live cards there, but we got Road to the Finals in action today as well. Um, we've got PSG versus Sociedad. And then, of course, all of us Kimmich owners. If you did the Kimmich SBC, big day. Big day for Kimmich because if Bayern are able to come back at home and beat Lazio, um, then they will be able to advance. It's all about the advancing. Whoever advances today from the second leg into the next round of Champions League, into the quarterfinals, will be getting the upgrade. It doesn't matter who wins. It's all about advancing, guys. That's one thing to make note of. If there's draws today, but a team advances, that still is a win. Um, or if they advance, you know, it, it's still an upgrade, not a win. It's, it's a draw, not a win. If they draw and they advance, that is an upgrade that will be coming this Friday. So watch out for that today as well. But I think that's the video for today, guys. I got to catch up on some gameplay. I got to catch up on some menu crafting and maybe make a few investments as well. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the account. See you guys in the stream today. That link's down below in the description. Peace out.